Okay, the first thing we want to start with is the wheels of the actual um, catapult. So what we want to do is place two logs like that, separated by three blocks. Then leave a five block gap and do the same again on both sides. Then at the back you want to be placing two spruce planks going off the back logs. Uh, not with spruce on top, with um, slabs along the side, like so. Then slabs on top on the front logs. Then two in front of the logs. And then we're going to go one, two, one, two. Have a sideways log on top of those two and then two stairs leading up to the side of the logs then from the, this top bit we're gonna go block slab slab block slab slab uh, block and then finally a slab do that on this other side as well like so and then we have the sort of framework um, for either side of the catapult. You then want to be placing a stair pointing sort of inwards, I guess. Then logs on that. And then finally a sideways log pointing outwards towards you. Trap doors on the inner part there, like so. Then Next to the log pillar, you want to be placing stairs, pointing inwards once again. Then leave a gap and place a log in the centre of the two stairs. Uh, might as well just line that up. You then place two gates either side of the log. And then um, slabs going along this front bit here for the frame to connect the two sides. Do the same on the back, like so. On this side bit of wood, we want to be placing a trap door, like so. And on the underneath, we want to be placing upside down stairs. We're then gonna bring this back to about here. So five slabs, then a stair, a stone stair, and another one opposite that to give the bucket. On the fifth slab across, you want to be placing, replacing it with a stair, a spruce stair, with a slab on top of the wood, a spruce stair again, and then a spruce slab underneath the main log. Like so, and there. Oh, we then place the trap doors and the logs to the sides where the wheels would be. And there, we've actually finished our medieval catapult.